Hi everyone, welcome to Freezer Burns. As always, I'm your host Greg, the frozen food master. And you're joining me as I eat my way through the freezer aisle one box at a time. Today, I'm reviewing this. It is the Mrs. Paul's Crispy Fish Fillets, six golden battered cut from whole fillets, fish fillets, $4.99 a box. I'm ready to get this out of the box. We're gonna cook it in the oven, see how it looks, see how it cooks, see how it tastes. Get these into my belly. Freezer Burns starts right now. If you spend some time on Freezer Burns, then you might stave off the stomach churns. Greg's the frozen food master. He's best bud to your taste buds. Once again, today we're reviewing the Mrs. Paul's Crispy Fish Fillets, $4.99 for this box. I say it's brand new, and it's not really that Mrs. Paul's is new to the fish fillet market, especially in the frozen aisle, but it's got a new crunchier taste. And actually Mrs. Paul's, or not Mrs. Paul exactly, but people at Mrs. Paul's have actually sent this to me to review for all of you guys. Let's take a look at this box. Right now we got uh, very little detail. It is white fish on the inside, looks pretty flaky, golden crispy on the outside, looks like nothing to report except a nice clean golden batter on the outside. On, you know, right here on the side, guaranteed fresh taste in the freshness pouch. You gotta love that type of technology and I'm pretty excited about this. We're gonna cook this in the oven today and inside of this, this is one pound, 2.73 ounces or a total of 531 grams in this box, six full whole fish fillets. What I really love about the cooking instructions on this box is they are they make they take no chances. They say, um, Mrs. Paul's does not recommend microwave preparation. That's good. We're only cooking this in the conventional oven. Here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna preheat oven to 425 Fahrenheit, which I've already done. Remove fish from plastic pouch. Place Mrs. Paul's quality frozen fish fillets. I love how they threw in the quality in, into the instructions. In a single layer, evenly distributed on a four-sided baking pan, bake on middle oven rack 18 to 20 minutes. Turn fish fillets over halfway, nine to 10 minutes, that's halfway, and then let stand five minutes. How good are these whole fish fillets? Serving size is one fillet that's 89 grams. There's six of them in this total box. Amount per serving, 190 calories, 90 calories from fat, 10 grams total fat, two and a half grams saturated fat, and there's nine grams of protein. This would be the freshness pouch. Now, here's a good thing, and, and you gotta keep take this with a grain of salt, right? They call this a freshness pouch. I call this just a bag. Now, when I thought freshness pouch here, I thought, okay, it's like vacuum sealed and it's nice and maybe individually packed. But you gotta remember, traditionally, uh, especially fried fish products in the freezer aisle, traditionally, there's no bag at all. They just dump it right in the box and you open it up and there's crumbs everywhere. So that's a good thing that it definitely comes in a bag. I'm not quite sure I believe that this is a freshness pouch other than it's just a regular pouch, but hey, that's marketing for you. This is how it looks. Each one, you know, identical in size, a nice yellowish golden brown color, and uh, I'm ready to get this into the oven. Here it is taken out of the oven. I cooked it in the oven for 20 minutes, flipped it over halfway through cooking, and uh, this is what it looks like. It's golden, it's battered, it's fish. It's a decent sized piece of fish. It's about one, two, three, maybe four inches long. Um, wider on one side, smaller on the other. Uh, let's have, see how it smells. Basically all I smell is batter, but what I smell is a very light batter, not an overly uh, salty or peppery one. And um, I can see pieces of fish kind of poking out from it. So that's always good. I cooked it in, it's crispy, definitely crispy on the outside. Pieces of fish on the inside, almost actually difficult to cut. This is piping hot, but I can't stand it. I need to get this in my belly. Huh. Okay. Hot. 
batter is nice. I do like it. Now, as I mentioned earlier, it says it's a crunchier batter. I have nothing to compare it to uh, because I don't remember nor, uh, about how Mrs. Paul's batter tasted before, nor do I would, I, would I be able to compare that, oh yeah, this one's crunchier. What I can tell you is it's crunchy enough. Nice and crunchy on the bottom um, and, and on the top, but the fish on the inside is what I'm really here for because anyone can batter and anyone can uh, give me something fried. But I wanted to see what the batter with the fish tastes like. The fish is not flaky, okay? It says it was supposed to be flaky. Well, I guess it's a, yeah, I mean, it's very moist. You see some of the, um, uh, some of the jagged edges of it when you, when you peel off pieces of fish. And that's nice, so it's definitely cut from a whole filet as advertised. But I would say that the fish overall is not horrible, not great. I've had better frozen fish uh, and I've had better batter, but for six of these for $4.99, not a bad buy. This is the Mrs. Paul's Crispy Fish Filet, $4.99 for this box. As I mentioned, I got this for free to review, but $4.99 is around the, uh, what you would pay in the grocery store. Decent uh, batter, not overly salty, which some uh, fish companies actually get into a, a trouble with. Um, nice, light batter. The fish is good, white fish all the way through, consistent quality, but again, I've had better fish in the past. I would say this is a decent buy for $4.99. I give this a three and a half star. Now, do you wanna try this Mrs. Paul's Crispy Fish Filet? Because I got a couple of coupons here, and if you join the Facebook group, the Freezer Burns Facebook group, that's at facebook.freezerburns.com, you will see an announcement of how you can win one of these. Question of the day, what do you like to dip fried fish in? Do you like tartar sauce? Do you like ketchup? Do you like, um, Hollandaise, do, you know, what do you like? Uh, put that in the comment section, that's the question of the day. And as always, I'm your host, Greg, the Frozen Food Master. This has been another review of Freezer Burns. I'll see you next time.